at that. That is some meat. Ah. Here, bring Help it over here. Out. Bring Help it over out. here. Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In today's episode, we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook on tile fish. Before we get into this though, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We're going to start out with a recap of what it was like catching the tile fish from this previous episode that was filmed on our last Sunday showdown. We did this deep dropping. Uh, I've been asked a couple of times, hey, how deep were you? Uh, we were in about 500 feet of water. We used a Tanacom 1000 Daiwa electric reel with two pounds of weight and the bait was squid. We got something good on here. Oh! From the depths. Yeah, this one's real. Yeah, he's been eating weenies. <laughs> yeah. Cornbread, pure fed. And I've only got 120 meters to go. Yay! <laughs> What's that, 360 feet? Yeah, a little bit more. Wait, no, there we go, he's on. Yeah, he's on. It got loose for a second. Yeah, he's hitting barrel trauma yeah, right he, now. He, he's, he's petering out. Yep. This is where you don't want to lose him because right now at 51 meters, he's still at 131 feet. You know, so, a shark and stuff like that, they'll get him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he's not. Jeez. That's a big he's boy. He's not a small one. All right, 31, you might start seeing him soon. Right. Yep, I can see him down there. Little speck of blue. Here he comes. Oh, he's still fighting. Here he comes. He's over here. 16. Oh man, you got a good fish. He's a good one? Oh yeah. You definitely got a good fish. That is some meat. Here, bring Help it over here. Help bring it over Help here. Me here. There we go. All right. Most definitely. Chris. Tell me about Blue Line South Florida Tile Fish, my friend. Chris knows what he's talking about, man. This is. These are tile fish. All, All right. right. Now that you've seen that, we're gonna get into how you clean a tile fish. It's essentially just like cleaning any other fish. The only difference is, is that the pin bones that run off the spine laterally run fairly far down its back, almost to its tail. So when you're filleting it, you just gotta make sure that you get them all out. So the first thing you do is you'll start by cutting up the head. So the tile fish meat is really good, so you want to be sure to get as much of it off as you can. I'm going to come to the belly, make an incision there, open, then we're going to run right along his bottom fin. And same process. As soon as you can, you stick the knife there, underneath his tailbone, and you come, so you'll be able to use his own uh, back end against him to skin him. And then you got one top bone up here because he's a bigger fish and there we go and just angle it in Thank you. 
bubble blade's real nice for leaving like no skin, no flesh on the skin, which is what we're going for. All right, there's one big slab. Take your knife and you run it along the spine. Now we move. Your fillet from his body. Same process. Debone the tilefish. First, you got to remove the rib cage. And then their pin bones run really far down into the fillet, so you want to make sure that you go really far back along their lateral line. To remove the pin bones. And that feels like it's far enough. All right, cool. So we're just going to bag these up. One thing you don't want to do. Or you want to try to avoid is saltwater fishes. You don't want to rinse them off with fresh water if you can avoid it at all costs, um, because fresh water tends to break down the meat and start turning it into mush as soon as fresh water touches it. All right, so we're gonna get ready. We cook caught them. Bad boys. We cleaned them. Now we're gonna cook them. Lots of people say towel fish tastes like lobster. It kind of does in a weird, funky way, but. It's really got its own authentic, original taste. And I personally love it. It happens to be my favorite. When I cook tilefish, I tend to keep it rather simple. I don't like too much going into it because I like the flavor of the fish. We're having broiled tilefish with steamed crab legs and an Asian salad on the side. It's going to be delicious. I let it rest in a lemon salt water brine for about a half an hour. So cover the bottom of a pan with enough salt to make it salty like the ocean. And then we're doing juice of one lemon, one whole lemon. Squeeze it good, get all the juice out. All right, four or five minutes on each side, and then that's done. All right, there you have it, folks. Mill fit for royalty. We got broiled tile fish, boiled stone crab claws. I chose to boil them instead of steam them. And Asian-inspired marketplace salad.
I'm gonna get me some butter sauce, dip my crab claws in them, go to town. All right, folks, that about does it for this catch, clean, and cook tile fish. Hope to see you next Tuesday for our Sunday showdown that's going down. Until next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.